Greetings, my cartooniac friends. <laughs> Welcome back to Dave McDonald's Quarantunes, where we draw cartoons together, pass the time, flex our creativity together. All right, I hope you're doing well today. We're going to do some more drawing. Before we do that, I did want to share my last drawing with, uh, with you that I colored. I had so much fun. Remember, we visited the state of North Carolina and discovered the state reptile, the eastern box turtle, and we've got the flowering dogwood, remember? <laughs> dogwood flower. So I made a dog. <laughs> oh, Corny Creek Farms, here we are. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you that. Now, I don't think technically they're green like this. I think they're more brown, like the shell, the whole animal. But I used my creativity, my uh, creative license, as they say, and I just wanted to add green. I just like that color for a, a turtle. So uh, I'm not a scientist. I'm a cartoonist. <laughs> not the same. <laughs> Today we're going to continue with the great state of North Carolina. We're going to draw the state bird. Do you know what that is? I'll give you a moment. Let's see. It's going to start with an oval shape, okay? Big oval shape, like this. It's kind of like an egg shape tilted on its side. <clears throat> Have you guessed what it is yet? Do you, if I made the sound of the bird, would you know? <coughs> That's the wrong one. Sound effects department, can you please try again? The sound of the bird we're drawing today is no, no, it's not that. <laughs> what? <laughs> this sound effects department I've got, I'll have to draw them someday. They're, they're not really on their game. I'll give you one more shot. What is the sound effect? What is the sound of this bird? <laughs> Fail. <laughs> they failed. All right, we're drawing, we're drawing a cardinal. That's the state bird of North Carolina, cardinal. So we start with our oval shape. Now do this, bring a curved line up to the back. They've got kind of a crest on the top. This is the whole body and the head of the, of the bird combined into one. All right, and the crest just come back. Almost looks like that shark fin when we were drawing that megalodon shark. But it's not a shark fin. I promise you it's the crest of the top feathers of the, of the bird. Okay, comes back and then we're not going to need that part of the oval. See, we're going to come straight back like this. Use the, we are using the front part and we're going to continue back to the tail. And maybe we make two loops or something for that tail feather. So there's the basic shape. And again, let me just take this away right now so you don't get confused. That's not going to end up being a part of the character. Most of the time we wait till the end to erase these. But again, I like to hopefully make it a little more clear as to what we're doing here. All right, so the features of the bird we need some an eyeball and a beak so let's put an eyeball right about here see how i get going around and around before i put my pencil down and then it becomes the eyeball and then the beak i suppose that would come off this way a curved line slightly curved all right straight back and then put your pencil here about halfway on the straight back part and just come back like that to make the beak. There we go. There's our beak. And then the, the cardinals, of course, the male cardinals are all pretty much all red, but they have some black markings around the eye, almost like a mask. So it kind of goes like this around the eyeball and then down below the beak. And that part would be the black and everything else pretty much red, all right? There's our pupil. 
let's see, the wing will just do this. A curved line, it just goes. And see how this part follows the shape of the body? It just comes up like this. That's all I'm going to do, I think. Maybe put that right there. Okay. And now this bird is going to have, is going to be walking. Instead of flying, this bird is walking. Now watch what we do with this bird. Normally they have the, the you know, the three-toed bird feet or whatever. <laughs> Not on this one. <laughs> no, it's kind of a wacky day here. This bird is going to be wearing sneakers. So there's going to be one sneaker and then watch this. If he, maybe, he's, maybe he's running. Let's do this. We need an elbow macaroni. That's what we need. Watch. You know what the elbow macaronis are if you've been drawing with me, right? Looks like an elbow macaroni. We'd use that shape for arms and legs and feet. And then we need that if the sneaker is down here up in the air. I'm going to just turn the paper, give myself that oval shape to make the sneaker. All right. All right. That's pretty cool. Okay. How about a horizon line? He's walking <clears throat> and he's going to be saying something. But I'm not going to put that in yet. Okay. Just fixing up some of my pencil lines before I go to ink. And maybe this one we can just make kind of ruffled at the top. Okay, let's see what else. Maybe a tree in the back. I don't know. Way back here there's a... Tree. Very loose, just do that. Okay. Maybe some, we'll do some grass when we get thinking. Okay, there's our there's our cardinal. Alright, let's start inking our cardinal. Maybe that crest. the beak <laughs> and of course the eyeball the pupil with that little circle there's the reflection I'm glad you reminded me of that let's give him a look of determination so we're going to put a straight eyebrow, kind of like this. <laughs> More determined looking. Okay. This would be the black part of where the bird, all that would be black in there. This part. Okay, let's do the bottom of the bird. And the wing. Like that. Let's continue this to keep going with this bottom shape. It's a long line, isn't it? Look how long this is. It goes all the way around up to the tail. And let's see, okay, now we need to come up here and do our little ruffled feathers. And then back down to the tail. All right. <laughs> How's he looking? Pretty good so far? Okay, let's do this. He 
You know, we never really did draw the sneakers. We might want to do that before we get our ink pen out, just so we kind of know, because a sneaker is not an oval, but we want to do this. Draw the sneaker. Very much the same shape. Okay. It's going to have that white toe. It's going to have the white edge with the little lines. Maybe a emblem on the side and some shoelaces. Let's do this one. Turn this one up. Watch again. Curved line. Use that oval to create the curved line. Come back kind of flat and then back for the heel of the sneaker. Then draw that line. That's the sole of the shoe and the toe of the shoe. And if they've got the logo that little circle all right so now it's not just an oval it now it's a sneaker so we'll draw the sneaker circle it's not as easy to draw a little circle with these brush markers but sometimes I get lazy and I don't put it down and I don't grab my technical pen. That would be easier to draw a circle <laughs> with the technical pen. I'll do it this time so you can see the difference. All right, so sneaker, top of the sneaker, bottom of the sneaker, heel, sole. That rubber sole there, okay, and the top now this is the technical pen that I'm talking about it doesn't wobble at the tip it's very has a stiff felt tip so it doesn't wobble so chances are my circle will be much neater and in fact it is <laughs> laces you can just kind of do some straggly lines like that and create the illusion of laces All right <clears throat> okay, let's do some shadow underneath the legs. Like that. Maybe some motion lines. Oh, and here. <laughs> Where's the pen? Here we go. Now this one. We're just doing some, this is background, so we're not too concerned with how detailed it looks. Just create leaves of a tree. Come down, make the trunk of the tree. And the horizon line back there. And I know maybe what could we do here? Oh, I know. Watch this. Under his wing, under his wing, draw a rectangle. What is this rectangle, you say? Well, let's take a look here. It is a ruler, which means it's the what? <laughs> the cardinal rule. <laughs> Get it? The cardinal rule? <laughs> Ask mom or dad if you don't know what that cardinal rule expression is. Mr. Dave likes to take the opportunity to be silly now and again, doesn't he? Yes. Sometimes too much. A little drop shadow under that ruler. The 
cardinal rule. <laughs> oh my, okay, let's start erasing before I get way out of hand. Too silly for words, right? Okay, erasing our tree lines. Okay, now the pencil lines that we use to begin drawing our cardinal. We have triangles and ovals, circles, curved lines. <clears throat> How did yours come out? I bet it looks fantastic. Hey, how could you go wrong, right? Remember, everyone has their own style, so I hope it looks different than mine. And you know why? We've talked about this in the past. We don't want everybody's artwork to look the same, do we? No, that would be boring. We want to see everybody's style. Everybody has a unique style. So when you look at your drawing, it's going to look different than someone else's. But you need to celebrate that, right? That's your style. That belongs to you. And the art world, art world is always looking for brand new styles. So maybe you've got the cool new style that will be seen someday in a video game or a, the pages of a book or in a movie or hanging in a museum, in a gallery. That would be cool, right? Yeah, so celebrate your style. It's not going to look like mine or anyone else's for that matter. Look at this. Okay, now do we have time? Let me see how much time I have left. Oh, just a minute or two. Let's see. I'm going to give myself, he's going to be thinking something. So I'm going to give myself some guidelines to write my words on. What is he thinking? He's thinking this walking is for the birds. <laughs> this walking is for the birds. <laughs> this walking is for the birds. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. And so with uh, when they're thinking, remember it's not a word balloon, it's not a straight line, it's more puffy line like this. little bubbles leading towards the character that's doing the thinking. Okay. This walking's for the birds. And I'll erase those pencil lines here in just a minute because that has to dry. I don't want to smear it. All right. I hope you had fun drawing our Cardinal State Bird of North Carolina carrying the Cardinal Rule. <laughs> I hope you had fun today. Awesome. I'll see you next time. And until then, please be safe, stay well, and take care of one another. All right. Thank you. We'll see you next time.